in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, a warm welcome to the 10th day of the Ignatian Retreat. And I am Father Prince Clarence from the Society of Jesus, Kerala Province, India. Today we begin the second week of the Ignatian Retreat. And as all of you know, the spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius has been divided into four weeks. And for the last nine days, we have been in the first week and on this tenth day, we begin the second week of the spiritual exercises. And I wholeheartedly welcome you all once again. My dear sisters and brothers, in the first week, we severed the grace of being loved by God in our sinfulness. Our gaze was on ourselves, our frailties, our brokenness and our sinful tendencies. We are trying to understand how to have a remedy for our own brokenness. And on the 10th day, that is today, we turn our gaze to Jesus, his walks and his talks, his preachings and his teachings, they become our main attraction. In this week, we come more closer to Jesus. Here, Gospels come more alive for us. Using our own senses and imagination, we immerse in the person of Jesus. Slowly, in the second week, we take a transition from meditation to contemplation. And what is contemplation? It is more about feeling than thinking. It is more about the heart than the brain. Imagination plays a vital role in contemplation. We insert ourselves into the mystery of life of Christ given in the text. We see, we observe, we consider and experience and feel what is being given in the text. Here we are becoming part of the text. We have to take a role in it. We get affected by it. If possible, we use all five senses during our contemplation. One important thing is that we imagine that the mystery is taking place here and now. With regard to the mystery of Jesus, we are not much interested in the scientific or biographic or even historic facts. Our major focus is a heartfelt experience of the heart. Our major focus is a heartfelt experience and knowledge. In the second week, Ignatius suggests the first meditation or contemplation as the incarnation. Here we go the contemplation proper. I will introduce point by point in the contemplation and you just follow the points and you are there doing the contemplation. Take a comfortable posture. Listen to the sounds of nature. Very specially, first, the sounds from far away. Pay keen attention to each sound. 
do not think about it but just experience the sound then slowly bring your attention closer to you the sounds that are near you maybe just outside your room listen carefully in sharp attention all those sounds listen in detail then bring your attention to your own room where you are sitting listen the sounds just around you then slowly come to your body listen to your body there are sounds in your body pay attention listen to the beat of your heart even you could feel the flow of blood on your blood vessels just feel your body just feel your inner movements of your body then just become aware of your breathing do not control the breathing in the beginning slowly control the breathing as you breathe just become aware that you are breathing in the holy spirit and breathing out whatever unnecessary element that are there inside your body and spirit that you are breathing out now slowly listen to your body the sounds from your body if you are so keen and observant you would be able to even listen to the beat of your heart just listen and enjoy your heart even you could feel the flow of blood in your blood vessels just feel the flow of it and slowly get concentrated into the breathing don't control your breathing first just become aware of your breathing and normally it would be very very short slowly become aware of your breathing and have control of your breathing take deep breath as you breathe in say jesus as you breathe out say christ have control of your body when you have control of your breathing and then reverently recite the introductory prayer with much awareness the introductory prayer is given straight by saint ignatius of loyola and it goes like this i ask god our lord for the grace that all my intentions actions and operations may be ordered purely to the service and praise of the divine majesty with this prayer you are surrendering fully into the hands of the lord you are surrendering the whole of this prayer time before the lord then you pray for the particular grace of this meditation or contemplation for us today for this meditation we have selected the particular grace that a deeply felt knowledge of god's dream for the world oh and wonder at the mystery of incarnation after having said the grace we begin contemplating three divine persons gazing on the world the surface of the world is full of people they see they look at the world in a panoramic view and consider what the divine persons of the trinity 
looking at the world, see and hear. They look at the world and they have an experience and they see the thing and what do they say? They see the men and women of different size, different shape, color and language. Some are rich, some are poor, some are old, some are young, some are being born and some others are dying. Some hugging and some others hitting. Some helping and some others ignoring. My dear sisters and brothers, as I say these things, you must be visualizing the present world scenario in the present context as God watches it from above. The divine persons watch it from above. How these three divine persons respond to the joys and suffering of this world? Listen to the voice of the Trinity. Let us work for the redemption of the human race. Now, my dear friends, read through the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. The Annunciation. God responds to the groaning of the creation. God has been looking over the world and the Godhead, the Trinity, thought among themselves, what? Or how can we respond? And the answer to that question was the Annunciation. Responding to the groaning of the creation. It is very concrete and very creative. Visualize the scene of Annunciation. Now, from the broad spectrum, you are narrowing down the gaze to very, very narrow spectrum. You are visualizing now the house of Mary in Nazareth. The room where Angel Gabriel appeared to her. The angel and Mary. Listen to their conversation. How beautiful it is. How profound or majestic it is. Observe the expressions of each other, the interior movements of Mary. At the sight of this scene, become aware of your own interior movement. Be with Mary. Feel Mary. As you experience Mary, Get connected to the inner being of Mary and finally make a colloquy with Mary. After all, what is colloquy? My dear friends, it is a heart level conversation. The heart speaks to the other heart. What Ignatius says about colloquy is in three dimensions or in three ways. It is like a friend speaks to another or a servant speaks to an authority or one speaks to the beloved. So you examine yourself, you realize yourself, what is your relationship with Mary? Is it like a beloved? Is it like a friend? or? Do you feel that you are like a servant to Mary and get connected to Mary and take a conversation with her? During the conversation or after the conversation, sometimes get into a silent reflection. You may ask the following questions for your pondering. 
In what areas of my life am I being asked to say yes to God as Mary did? What do I do with my questions about the ways in which God seems to work in my life? How do I respond through the use of my gifts and talents to the groaning of creation? And finally, conclude your prayer with an Our Father, a Hail Mary and a Glory be to the Father. My dear sisters and brothers, this is all about first day in the second week of our retreat. I wish you a good time with the Lord. May God bless you.